Did she really just admit to having a bruise kit? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and yes, we will be live after today's trial day. We're here after every trial day. We're here live every day going through pop culture justice, but I can't wait until then. Guys, what Amber's doing on the stand is unreal. It's so obvious. She's been watching this past week. She's been watching the TikToks. She's clearly watching our coverage, and Elaine and team, they had to respond to everything. But I want to focus on a few lies that we've already caught. I've been able to edit some during the lunch, and I want to make sure we get them to you please get the word out now she's already starting the show correcting multiple times i got the date wrong uh she was off by a year guys a year i'm gonna play you that clip as well as the fact i didn't get to get this one to be edited but christopher melcher and i our video went super viral a million people watched that video over i think a million and a half now this thread was fire and christopher melcher Put it all out there. And now Amber's on the stand lying, which we'll talk about with him later today, saying, oh, I, I had to go to give my testimony and I didn't call the press, etc." She is such a liar. Here's that Brian fell over at Incredibly Average exposing her again. Did you send a text message to Jerry Judge on May 24, 2016, telling Jerry Judge, quote, I'm desperately trying to reach Johnny. It's extremely important. Please tell him. I remember sending the text message that is in front of me right now to Jerry. Uh, and I would like, I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him. Basically, I didn't want him to find out online that I had or was about to file or I had already filed for divorce. I wanted him to know verbally. So I was trying to reach him through a third party to tell him. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry, from me, so that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted Oh, 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 wait, what did you just admit to that you alerted TMZ? Oh, you didn't tell TMZ. Why was the paparazzi there? If you listen to her testimony today, her whole demeanor is so different in front of a jury. Here she is in the actual deposition, being well, her, her lawyer is constantly not letting her answer anything. But look, did you catch that? Uh, before TMZ was alerted. Look at that. From some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. Oh, let me catch, no, oh, let, me, let me just wipe Ms. my Hurt, face. It, does that mean? <laughs> You are the worst woman. Uh, but that was just the beginning. Oh my God. Let's talk about the bruises, Could you shall please we? Describe for the jury what this picture is. Uh, that is a picture of me a few months. I believe this is April of 2015. So it's a few months after the March incident that happened in Australia, early March. And if we could draw attention to your arm there, uh, are those scars? What, what um, are those? Please describe for the jury what those are. Those are scars that I obtained mm. while Johnny was um, countertop in Australia. Uh, it is a picture of me on a red carpet. Um, you can see my scars, um, even though I have makeup on them. They're a bit harder to cover because they're rather fresh. Guys, I, I had to put these two together because here you have months after, and these are now with makeup on, mind you, and then you had a day after on James Corden and somehow that magical mirror, um, Amica cream just solved it all. Like, dude, what are, I'm just at a loss. I'm at, like, how dumb does she think we are? Now, I, I hope they're able to pull this and really show it. Like, so wait, Amber, you're saying you were able to sort of cover them months after uh, this incident, which she says was, this was the Australian incident. And literally the day before you, you couldn't get rid of it. Ah. That makes sense, right? That that makes sense. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's uh, clearly the amica cream worked then, but not on the red carpet yeah, later. On them, they're a bit harder to cover because they're rather fresh. So fresh. Months later, he would proactively punch me, and I would have, have to, to resort to reactively hitting. Ah. Him. Flashback. Or has, I don't hesitate. I don't wait. I just in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs, and I 
swung at him. In all of my relationship to date with Johnny, I hadn't landed a blow. And I, for the first time, hit him. Like, actually hit him. <laughs> Square in the face. I am talking about the difference between a punch, which Johnny did often, and me having to hit him in my defense. Flashback. And all of my time of being in that relationship to that point, hadn't even landed one on Johnny. <laughs> Sure, I tried to what a back, difference a week my makes. Arms, flailed my arms, hit whenever I, I could to try to block blows myself, but never landed anything. And Johnny kind of looked stunned and then laughed at me. And I have no, um, what do you call Grace? <laughs> when did you earlier believe the first act of physical violence occurred? Well, I had always believed um, up until recently that it was, it had started later. Um, that the violence started around early 2013, mm. um, early 2012. That's what she always believed. You... She went through all her therapist notes, mind you, to re recollect, because she couldn't remember the exact date of when the first moment happened, even though she says... You remember the first act of violence. Uh, well, you never forget it. You That's never. how I remember it. Changes your life forever. You never forget the first time someone you like that. I just had the date wrong. Oh, yeah, except for, you know, the, the fact that it's a whole year after when it happened. Got it. You never forget. You never forget. Survivors out there, you never forget. But you might be a whole year off. Mm -hmm. Why? How is it that you think you got the date wrong? Objection calls for speculation. Overruled. I'm embarrassed to say I think I would She's have... A, I'm embarrassed to say! I'd like to have believed that the period of time in which I had to fall in love with Johnny, in which we fell in love and he was sober and he wasn't back to me, lasted for a lot longer than it did. I think I would have liked to have believed that I wasn't so early in the relationship and still stayed. He was also sober for a period in 2012, which was a peaceful time for us, oh, in which we sad. fell in love. Oh. So I had okay. kind of allowed myself, I guess, uh, to forget that the oh. beginning of that yeah. period, 2012, before he got sober, was, was really violent and chaotic as well. Oh. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say that. Yeah, I'm embarrassed for way for, for way more than this. I'm embarrassed for your whole demeanor, your lies, everything that you're doing to actual victims. Now, Judge Nickel in the UK would have just been like, oh, okay, I, yes, whatever you say, Amber, I believe you. But hopefully this jury sees through this garbage because this is insane. Guys, there's so much more coming. I can't even get to it all in just one video, but I need to parse them out because this is... This is really bad what she's doing here. And don't forget, you're going to want to get these shirts. We got the Mega Pine. We got Keep It in the Past Tense. We got I Drink Lots of Tea. And oh, you know we got, uh, uh, we, where, we got the, uh, where is it? Couch. Couch. Their safe word, couch. couch. Oh, we were way ahead of it. Couch, couch now. Uh, so much more going. I got to get back to watching the trial. We will be back live. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We will continue to call out her lies, her hypocrisies. She's not getting away with this. I promise you. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. Leave your comments down below. Watch these. And we will see you after the trial every day this week after 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us, won't you?